Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn about analog read function. How we can read analog values. For that we have used a special type of component. This you can see. This is our flex sensor. So what it does? So when you bend this sensor, it uh, gives us a value of our resistance. So it is like a variable resistance which gives our uh, variable value when we bend on it. And when it is not bent, that is like this. It gives a fixed value. So uh, let's see how we can fetch the value using the our flex sensor. So for that, the components which we required are breadboard, flex sensor, Arduino, some jumper wires. We have used here male to male jumper wires. Resistance. We have used 100 ohm resistance. Uh, sorry, 100 kilo ohm resistance. And these are male bias strips to make the connections uh, with my flex sensor. So let's see, start by uh, creating the connection. So here you can see we have two pins in our flex sensor. So we require two uh, male bulb strips. So I have, here you can see, so this here I have two male bulb strips. So let me insert it. Let's make the connection. After making the connection, I will insert it in my breadboard. This here you can see that I have successfully inserted my flex sensor. After inserting the flex sensor, you have to notice that both the pins should be different. Uh, here I have connected it in mean 15 number and 14 number pins. So both of them should not be like short circuited. Now we have to create a voltage divider circuit. So for that, let's start by uh, giving them a power supply. So for power supply, we use the VCC and ground pin. That is the 5 volt and the ground. So the ground is the black one I have connected with the ground and the 5 volt in ground, 5 volt here you can see the red one. So let's start by giving them power supply. So I have given them a, the power supply. Okay. So let me show you the circuit of it so that we can easily create it. Okay. So here you can see we have the circuit. So this your pin which we have a straight line and this will connect to the ground pin. So let's use uh, jumper wire to connect them with the ground pin that is your negative one. Okay, you can see. Now what we have to do with my second pin, I have to uh, use a jumper wire and connect it with uh, my analog pin. So I used a jumper wire. So here I connected and here the pin I am using is A0. You can see I connected it with the pin A0. Now what I have to do, I have to use a resistance that is your 100 kilo ohm. Now uh, uh, the resistance will be connected after the connecting this A0 and this will be connected with your 5 volt. So let's use the resistance. So this is my circuit where I have this positive and negative pins and through the negative pin I have given the power supply with to my flex sensor and in the another pin I have connected it with the A0 for reading it analog 0 pin. After that I have created a uh, added a 100 kilo ohm resistance and with that we have provided the positive one that is your 5 volt. So this is our circuit. Now let's connect the power supply to it and now let's code our Arduino. So this is our Arduino run. So let's start by including the pins. So we have used the, uh, we are using the analog zero pin. So pin mode A0 for analog pin and it is of input type. So we will write input. Okay. Now uh, what I want to do, I also want to show it in serial monitor that we have learned in the previous session. So let's start by opening the serial monitor. So serial dot begin and we provide the port bed that is 9600. After that what we want to do, uh, let's create a variable, uh, variable that will store these values that we are fetching from its pin A0. Let's say it is, let's name it the value. So value equals to, now we have to fetch the value. So it will be analog read we are reading the value 
So it is analog of read and the pin number is A0. So we will get the value from here. Now what I want to do, I want to display this value. So for displaying the value, we are using serial monitor, serial dot print ln, ln stands for new line. And I want to show this value. So let's say instead of value, I want to show value uh, from let's say, I want to show this. So the first one will print directly the line and after that we will print the actual value. Okay. Now let's provide it some delay also. So let's say the delay is 200 milliseconds. So this is our code. Let's run it. Okay. And we have to also open the serial monitor. So let's open the serial monitor also. Okay, actually we have to select our compound also instead of okay, it is red. Let me load it. Okay, so the code has been easily uploaded. Let me show you the serial monitor also. Okay, here you can see that from a flex sensor as it is still the value we are getting. It's 561 or 62 around. Now let me band it. Here you can see when I'm banding it, the value is increasing. Here you can see. And when I'm releasing it, it is again getting to its starting value. Here you can see. So this is how your serial uh, monitor works, and this is your flash sensor, which is like rating variable resistance. So by using the analog read, we can read the analog pencil or analog outputs. So as we are getting the value in the range of, as you can see, uh, it is like maximum it is 850 around and minimum it is 400 around. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to use an if else condition that after this particular time the LED should turn on and turn off. So for that we are going to use an LED. Okay. So let's use an LED. So I have connected it separately in this downward side where no wire has been there. And for that we are going to use a resistance of 220 ohms. And I'm connecting it with the positive terminal. Okay, that's it. So now we need to supervise in the circuit. So one will be for the negative and one for the positive one. So the negative one is directly connected with my ground. And for the positive one, let's say this is the positive. If I directly power it up or leave the positive so the LED is lighting. But what I want to instead of that, let's say connected with pin number eight. So that uh, when I bend this uh, flex sensor in a particular limit, then it should lit up. So let's say it's right here. So at the standing position, it has a value of around 678 to 650 around. So let's say I am bending it towards here. So when it reads, let's say 750, the LED should turn on or below 650. So let's try to code for that.
So here what I want to do, let's recommend this line or no. For comment, you can use double slash or you can use control and slash so it will automatically comment the line. Now let's use an if condition that is if the value is greater than your 750 means when I'm bending it, then what should happen? Then digital right. I want to turn on the your eight number pin LED so it will be like high. And we have also one more condition that is your else one. So else the pin will be low. We have to also define the pin that is pin number eight. Okay. Now we have forgot to write one thing that is we have to declare the pin also. Pin mode, your eight number pin, and it is your output because we have to provide the value of it. We are not getting value from your output pin. Okay. So now let's upload the code. After uploading the code, let's see the values also. So we are getting values around 340, 339 around. So let me bend it. So here you can see. When I bend it, it is like generating some colors. That is for red color because it is simply a single LED which has red color. Here you can see it doesn't have it is more because the value I see 350. So like that you can fetch your analog read values. Thank you and see you in the next session.